All right, now I'm on page 464, the bottom few problems, seven, eight, and nine. A wax candle is in the shape of a cube, so I know all the sides are gonna be the same length. Side of two and a half, what is the volume? So I need to, the volume is length times width times height. The length, the width, and the height is all two and a half. You can write that as 2.5. I'm going to let you multiply that out. Okay. Number eight, a rectangular prism shaped box measures six by five by four. A cube shaped box, so all the sides are the same. Each side is two. How many of the cube shaped boxes will fit into the rectangular prism shaped box? Okay, well, first we need to find the volume of the box. So six by five by four. Let's see, that'd be 30 and then 120 centimeters cube. Let's see if this will help us. And then this one's gonna be two times two times two because it's so that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 centimeters cubed. Let's see, is that going to help us? Going to 10, 5, no, that's not going to help us. Okay, that's all right. Well, that's what math is all about. We try one thing and we look. Okay, so let's see. The... Uh, six by five by four. Okay, so since the height, let's see, we'll say it's six across five, is that right? Five deep and then four high. So it will look something like this. Uh, length. And then each is two across. Huh, but that doesn't seem like it would fit perfectly anyways. Yeah, I guess maybe it won't fit perfectly, but it will fit. So you could fit one, that would be two, another two, and another two across the front. And then going back, it would be two and two, and then you would have just one centimeter of empty space back here. So it would be three by two, which would be six six of those little boxes and since it's four high you could stack another six on top so 12 cubes and then uh, I drew a picture to find my answer so it looks to me like there we can get 12 cubes but there would be some space back here uh, the box wouldn't be completely filled Okay, number nine, Justin is covering the outside of an open shoe box. Okay, so we have a shoe box. It's open along the top and he's just, he's just covering the outside of the shoe box. So not the top or the bottom, just the lateral faces. The shoe box is 30 by 20 by 13. How many square centimeters of paper is needed to cover the outside of the shoe box? Explain your strategy. So we need to find surface area of the lateral faces. So it's 30 long, 20 wide, 13 high. So this side of the box will be 20 by 13. 
And then since there's a front and a back, we times that by two. We'll get that answer. These sides are 30 by 13. And then since there's a right and a left, we times that by two. And get that answer. And then we add these two answers together to get our final answer. Okay, so again, this was a problem where we need to find lateral face, the area of the lateral faces, just the faces, the walls, the up, up and down. So not the bottom, not the top. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.